P6 database to Power BI. And basically, there are three ways to link your P6 database to Power BI. The first one is to connect P6 database with Power BI automatically. And to do this, you need P6 SQLite database and you need SQLite ODBC driver. And the benefit of this driver is to make the SQLite database readable by Power BI. So this driver is very easy to uh, download and install. Once you have it, uh, you can import your uh, SQLite database and you will have full access of, uh, on your P6 database. However, I'm not using all the tables of uh, the P6. I'm using only the tasks, projects, WBS, resource tables. And the biggest benefit of this way is that once you update your Primavera or you add a new project, automatically it will be linked to Power BI. So you don't have to refresh your data whenever you change anything in your Primavera. Uh, the only drawback of this uh, way is it's not easy to use, especially if you are not using a standalone database. So uh, the second way to link your database is to use Primavera reports, CSV files. However, I'm not a big fan of this way. Actually, I'm not a big fan of Primavera reports at all. It's not super friendly. so. I'm not using it, uh, however, it's a way. So if you are familiar with Primavera reports, you can use this way. The third one, and which we are going to use here in this course, is to use Microsoft Excel. And to prepare your Excel, you can export your data from Primavera to uh, Excel, or you can simply uh, adjust your layouts, uh, prepare your column, prepare whatever you want, and copy and paste it in Excel. And this is the way that you are going to use in this course. And uh, so what exactly we are going to take from Primavera to prepare our database? First, we are going to take uh, overall summary. And the second, the, the second tables we are going to use is the tasks tables, either a baseline or the update. And the third one will be the activity codes. And the, the fourth one will be the resource tables, either baseline or the updates. And the final one, we are going to, to take the S curve and the cash flow. So basically, these are the information that you are going to take from Primavera to Excel, and we will adjust it in Excel, and we will import it to Power BI, and we will be ready to make our interactive dashboard. So uh, starting from next session, we will jump into Primavera, and I will show you how to adjust your program in order to be ready to uh, make your database. So see you next session.